Gold Four Bank Kings against an absolute stain on the game. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's pretty aggressive by the looks of things, so hopefully he sticks in a four bet. He does. Just please don't have aces or kings, sir. Ideally, if he could have jacks, tens, or nines, we'd be okay with that. What else is new? Jack. Come on, man. Jack, seven, queen. Oh, drill it. Drill it. Drill it. Inject it. Fuck you, I go. Easy. Come for the EV, boys. Uh, this really sucks. I think he will have some bluffs here. So I think I'm actually going to shove. Um, and a 92. But, like, this is generally not particularly great against a lot of opponents. But he's showed down some fold back bluffs as well. So hoping to get the fold. Okay. Done. Right. Uh, gonna have to be Elema Jacks here. In these positions. Wanna make sure that we're not really calling here a lot and we're shoving. I think we're mainly shoving. I'm going to go for three streets here. All right, let's win a flip, please. Oh, my God. Let's just win a flip. Jack, come on. Jack. Jack. Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Why have I tried fucking going for value here as well? How could you possibly even have a hand? Block ace Jack as well. Oh uh, yeah, on a high roll, we'll go for a chat raise here. Get some bat doors, box some top pairs. Have some fun on some turn cards. Anything that's really good for us, like a two or like a six, seven, stuff like that, we'll probably just blast on. Um, so I'm actually going to overbet this turn and then give up river. Uh, the reason I'm overbetting this turn is that our range is so polar that we really don't bet a lot here. Uh, and I'm on a 95 roll, so. Piece of hearts. Uh, yeah, uh, just pure giving up this river. Uh, one, we just like have so little value now. Um, and we block hands that we want him to have. Queen 10, ace, queen of hearts, stuff like that. Ace 5 of hearts, 5, 6 of hearts. So this would make an unbelievably shit river bluff, especially on a 3. We have one combo less of 3, 4. We have a combo less of... Uh, two combos less of... We only have one combo now, 3s instead of 3. I wonder how he wants to react here. Like, what he actually wants to go all in with. My guess is he genuinely just has a full house because he's a fucking joke. Like, aces would probably shove. But, like, when you shove aces here, like, I don't really call worse hands. Um, Jack four suited, I guess, which is two combos. Um, because I'd unblock all of the bluffs, like ace, queen, and queen, ten, and stuff like that. So, um, And I'm not even always barreling that turn as well because it's really bad for us. And then we'll all barrel some rivers. But, like, I think that's just a particularly... Well, that is. It's just a straight-up horrible uh, combo and horrible board to bluff. Give me the five of hearts and give me the seven of clubs. You're going to give me a five, aren't you? Uh, we'll have to call twice here, I think. And we'll have to bluff this hand as well, I think. Um, just given that... Uh, we, we've got full equity against better ace highs as well. Like ace 10 and shit, I'm probably all like ace jack and stuff. Like, I'm probably going to check. Um, here, I think I'm going to check shove with 7-8. Yeah, I think check shove here. And the shove's pretty big, but I could actually call versus this size. But I think this is a really good hand to shove with. We're going to have sets and straights here. Might have had the best hand, to be fair, but I'd already got it in my head that I think that's a really good hand to check shove on the river. Um, versus that line. 
Who not normally call in, but against a purple tag, we will call here. I don't want to fall about him. My ever so slightly deeper. Do I want to check raise? Just get it in. I think we'll just call. Get there on the turn. Come on. Maybe I should check raise because I don't really want to bluff this guy in reverse. Giving us a nice price. I'm going to cover it and hope we get there. And I'm just going to... Am I going to check range on the river? Yeah, I'm going to check range. Shit. Lands, okay. I'm going to check back kings here. I don't know if this is good with this combo. This might be shit, actually. Probably shouldn't have done this. There's so much that we can get it in against. He doesn't really have much. Yeah, I think this is this is terrible. I was too focused on this other hand. I was drilling the nuts on the river. Uh, gonna go really big on the turn. I think. I think overbet's actually fine on this turn, especially with this combo and some check back flop. And if it completely breaks out, I might do some whack shit like overbet shove. <laughs> if it breaks out, the ten of clubs. I don't think I can value that. I, I think we have the best hand a lot of the time. But, like, is he going to call pocket eights with the eight of clubs? Or is he going to, like, bluff raise that or whatever? Or is he going to call... Yeah, I mean, I think I just have to check. And I don't think we're going to check this on the flop a lot. I, I think that's my bad. But I think well, when we get to this river, we might just have to check river because of what he's going to call with and stuff. I think the EV will probably be higher of checking than buying. Ace five... That's what I mean. If that totally breaks out, although if it's a five, I get fucking shafted. Like, I would have fucking sucked. Three battle jacks. Snap calls. Honestly, just bet big and then stack off. Check shove and not be happy with it, I think. Uh, bet fold here, I think. Do I want to check? Here with Nova card against half pot call, but not be thrilled. Yeah, we'll bet here. Run into queens and then aces, let me guess, another walk. Oh my fucking god, it is absolutely unreal. Fives, flops, sets. The set of fives. Nice wet board as well. Versus that size, always raising. Versus like part of like really big bats, I'd consider. Just calling. Ooh. I think check in here. And then check call and then check shove on brick rivers. So like it takes out some combos of our value. Um he can have Queen X and can have some bluffs here that wanna bat. Um but it's kind of like a lot of our um draws wanna just like uh slow down now. Just gonna call turn here and I would call my draws at this price as well. Um that's kind of a sad one because you can have okay. I wonder if he like calls that down actually. Maybe I should just try firing. Like, if I bet turn and then shove river, like he blocks quite a lot of fun fucking hands. What can I have? King, queen, fives. Blocks queen, jack, and jacks, both of which I could have. We'll call there, but I'm probably not going to win. So, hands for value, I think he's just going to have, like... It's weird to see an over, but... So, we're looking at the 10 of hearts. I think he's going to be the most likely hand, which is going to be Jack-10 with the 10 of hearts. Um, do I think this guy will bluff enough, though? He doesn't really need to overbet as a bluff. I don't think he's going to overbet the 9. He really shouldn't have the ace of hearts. Maybe ace-jack with the ace of hearts, but even that, I think, can just bet. So we're looking at 10 jack with the uh, 10 of hearts, which could even bat flop, and 10s with the 10 of hearts, which could even bat flop. So I think that's what we lose to. 
Hey, Snack, mate, you are a fucking absolute joke. Imagine checking that flop. You have no showdown, buddy. If you're thinking of any kind of bluff, like, you have to fucking bluff. Mate, what is that, honestly? Basically just doesn't bluff. If he's not betting that on the flop, what, what are his bluffs on the flop? Or does he just check range on that flop? On a king, queen, ten, three heart bird? <laughs> fucking joke, man. I will check race here and probably have to stack off. Yeah, just going to shove here. He will call relatively often, but uh, maybe he's got some f uh, front door flush drawers that are even worse than ours or potentially fold or whatever, but we just have a shitload of echo here, so. Got all in. Sixes, are you joking? Are you actually joking? That calls the flop. Oh my god. Like, it, even things like that. Like, first of all, it's a flip. Second of all, how have we got into that scenario? He should be no way near the flop all the turn. Mate, absolutely unreal. That is the not flush draw. Um, we will raise this sometimes. On a 94, we will go for the raise. Um, I don't always raise this just because we have a lot of like flush draws, combo draws and stuff. We'll do it on a high roll. <laughs> like the worst turn. Takes out a lot of our value. We're still going to check call. We can actually be ahead of some hands here as well. And I think some sets and stuff. So hands that we're dead against still three back quite often. Um, easy call here. I'm probably not raising boats a lot either, so. Uh, and then check call in river for sure. Because uh, any, he just has to bluff a lot of stuff now. Thing is, like, can't really value that anywhere, so I just have to hope he's bluffing and people under bluff in these pools. But yeah, easy call, right? Uh, most likely have me lose to ace 10, which would be egregious because it'll be a two out. Nice. Although, where was the fucking club? Kind of has to be a bluff there, unless he has ace 10. Gold 4 and kings against an absolute stain on the game. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is happening? Aaron could easily have aces, but... Do I want to just shove? Hold. Oh my god! What is that? He's just called a 22 big blind 4 bet. Oh my fucking god. What is happening today? How have you called that, bro? What the fuck was that Aaron guy doing as well? Oh my god. Mate, honestly, this is wild. Not to mention I could just have the higher flush draw and you're basically fucking dead. Good luck, thanks. I'm gonna fucking need it. Honestly. Uh, we could 4 bet this. Not gonna there. Oh, good flop. Uh, I mean, he'll bet range. Do I need to call, though? Maybe, because I think they'll just give up their, like, 8s, 9s, 7s, which I think they'll see bet pure. Uh, do I want to check shove, though? I think I might check shove this hand. Yeah, I'm going to check shove. Oops. I think Colin's fine as well. So he can have aces. King X, I think, bets the turn. Most likely, and I think, would be pocket kings for value, which would suck. Uh, ten of hearts has some use as a blocker. We can have, like, queen ten of hearts, ace ten of hearts, stuff like that. And um, we block those. wonder if this is a thing. Nice! We get it through.
Oh, that's top set. We like top set. We like top set. We like getting check raised as well. Yeah, we do. Be a nice turn. Nice turn. I guess just all in versus over, but. Yeah, I guess just all in. Hopefully he's got like aces. Beacon of aces. Get another work. Hold it. Yeah, baby. Easy. Walk with aces. No walk. I am going to check back this flop, I think. Yeah, on an eight roll, we're going to check back. I guess it could be a good turn. He could have some king X. This is so weird. And that suit will call a three bat flop a flush draw. I guess ace is like a bad hand. To, like his most likely bluff is going to be the ace of diamonds, right? And I'm not turning aces into a bluff here ever. Ten jack with a diamond? Oh, this actually sucks. I think I'm just going to call. Um, and be very unhappy with it. And he'll have flushes, but I think that's all he's really got for value. Looking at just like, it's, it's shit having the ace of diamonds in a way. But like, I don't think I can fold aces. Like, I don't have that many better hands. Yeah, they, they literally always have it. Just, I'm going to give every single person the fucking net tag. Why all in versus over bet? Because he fucking obviously has a hand. The guy's a stain. Why, why, would, I, why would I call and let the river come the queen of diamonds, uh, the king of diamonds or whatever it was, a queen of diamonds and then he potentially folds when I can just go all in? Uh, it's legit just the, the best play, and it's not even close. The EV from calling comes from when they're bluffing, and then when they're going to bluff River. If I, like, if he, if he let's say he bluffs River 0% of the time. Oh, this is a fucking amazing flop against a whale. Raise me somehow. One about small, or like over bet. Over bet. All in's a bit much, so we'll just do X part. Maybe we could have got it all though. Maybe we could have got it all. Should just two X part turn. All about small, so we potentially uh, check raises. Uh, gonna check raise here. Yeah. Blast off on a ten or a nine, as well as clubs. Sixes, flops, boats. So here, I'm just going to bet pot and then shove river. Um, I... Uh, he doesn't have many boats here. And so if I have like queen 10, I might be more likely to... Or queen jack, I'm going to be more likely to fold. But he's going to have all the jack x and 10x here of clubs. Um, so we're going to shove and hope he has one of those. Not the fucking nut flush. Some random boat. Uh, big bet here. Nice. 10 3 suited. You love to fucking see it. Let's go. Finally cooled somebody. About fucking time, man. We are going to fall back this ace 5 suited. Easter. Many is 16. Nick, thank you for the 16 months, buddy. Hope you're well. 14 in a row. Not even 16 in a row. Ah, yeah. Deuce of hearts one fucking time. Uh, I can go bigger than a quarter here. Uh, I'm actually probably not going to blast this off either, by the way, because I still think he has jacks, aces, potentially kings, and definitely queens. He's quite tight, so I was expecting him to fold pre a lot. Uh, check turn. Takes out combos of jacks. Do I want to shove the river, though? 
I might have to shove the river on non-diamonds. Because you can still have ace-king and ace-queen. Well, we're going to have king 10 suited. King 10 suited and ace 5, probably my worst hands here. And blocking aces is, is good here because he can definitely have aces. And we block ace jack suited. I think this, uh, this combo has to shove. <sighs> Fought for that. I think it's actually a really good combo to shove. Uh, king jack suited, easy call in position. I'm going to hate life if he triples. I hate it. Well, I hate it less or more. I'll have more reasons to fold. This is triple now. I'm actually gonna check back on the twelve. I think you should be barreling a lot of ace tens and stuff and ace jacks on turn. Then I suited. We'll three back. I don't think I can race. Um, I think we win. I think he has ace queen fucking every time. Best to ever do it. I just don't think he calls a race. And what if he fucking three bet shoves if he has ace queen with ace of hearts? Not that he probably would, but. Picking up the queens. Picking up the ace king. Good news is here that we can shove ace king versus a four bet because we know we'll have bluffs. Uh, queens will mix. Unless so many cold fires, and I don't know what we'll do. Oh dear. Let me see this spot. So we're ignoring the big blind. I think I would fold here, but with the big blind fucking being all in, there's more dead money. Which really sucks. I think this is... I'm going to go with it, because this guy's already in for 30 bucks. Obviously. Queen. I don't know why I did that. I should just fold. He still has all combos of ace-king though, I guess. Does he? Does he just fold ace-king? He's six on the turn, dealer. Five flop sets. Let's check raise against the size. Uh, I'm going to check shove sixes here. Am I? Maybe not in the ace. If it's like a king, might be better. I should have thought about this. Oh, that's, that's quads. I'm just going to shove, even though this works better as a check. I'm going to fold here. Um, because if he has like king, queen of spades and just checks back, it's a bit shit. This is a really bad card for range though, so we definitely should check, but... Yes. Oh, you love to fucking see it. Oh, about fucking time, man. About fucking time. Finally. That's such a good river as well. Like, the thing is, when we check, he's going to bet that anyway, or should. But if he has, like, Queen Jack of Spades, I just want to put him in a spot, to be honest. And the fact is, people massively underbluff, as I've told fucking everyone a million times. Picking up the Ace King, picking up the Ace Five suited. Uh, pretty good board for Ace King. I think we'll go for the check race. Why don't you stream on YouTube? At least for me, I'll watch you play way more often. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, stre I'll stream on YouTube. Just for you, buddy. Hmm, this might end up being a very multi-barrel here. I don't know what sizes we're going to have on this board. It's bigger sizes. Half part seems reasonable. This may well be a triple on, on non hearts. That's a heart. So it's no longer a triple. But you better believe I'm going to bet the river. So we're trying to fold out some like pocket eight, stuff like that. Um, I do want to bluff this hand, right? You can still have some like ace. Oh, I guess you could have like ace, queen of spades. Maybe like ace, jack of spades, stuff like that. 
But yeah, I feel as though we want to bluff this hand and doing something like this seems reasonable. I do want to see if this is okay. Doesn't We have a shitload more Queen X than he does. Uh, I'm going to check some, my Ace King, so I'll bluff like my 10 Jack suited and stuff like that. And he's called with pocket four, so literally just never ever bluff this guy. Ace Queen suited, going to three bet against our boy Bobba. We'll be peeling four bets if necessary. Not necessary. I think this is a reasonable uh, board and hand to check on with this hand. Oh, he goes for the lead. Okay. Uh, I think call or raise is absolutely fine here. Um, I'm just going to go with the call this time. And we're calling any size on turn. I can tell I have the best hand here as well. It's not really a hand I'm going to end up bluffing. So we're going to kind of want to need to get there. I'm going to check back on a five, I think. And River the Nuts. A pocket eights, buddy. Or King Tanner, King Tanner Diamonds. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go really big here, I think. Because I, I, I don't think I can even... Or I could go really small. Okay, we're going to go really small. And uh, try and induce. Oh, you love to see it, man. Love to see it. The induction bet. It worked. <laughs> Unlucky, Bobby. Um, on a low roll here, I'm going to check. Um, but definitely continue with the Ace of Hearts. Am I going to check raise, though? Does this hand want to check raise? Uh, I, mean, I mean, this is just like a bet, isn't it? Uh, I think probably smaller bets, though. Just our range wants to bet small here. Uh, I'm going to flat ace king against the net. Not our range wants to bet small, but like, you know, our, our king X doesn't really want to bet small. Uh, so we were slightly deeper than 100 here as well, so I didn't want to fall bet shove against the net, who's 3 bet and 5%. Uh, and I don't want to fall bet fold or fall bet call, really, so. That's a shite turn. Check, check, please, sir. Because like, if he triples now, we don't beat value, and he just won't bluff. Like, he won't triple barrel bluff in this spot. I mean, what's he going to triple barrel bluff? Like, ace 10? Yeah, good luck. Okay, he, might, he might triple for, like, dumb sizes with ace king, which would be terrible, but... Uh, I'm going to lead here. Because I just think his queens and his aces and his ace jack and his queen jack suit, it'll check back. And I don't want him to check back those hands. And I don't think he's going to bluff forever, so we're just going to bet. We'll flop top two against Bobby, though. Oh my god, I'm actually just going to fold. I mean, I guess I can chop. Can he have king-queen here? This is so fucking dumb. <clears throat> uh, I'm all in with those 10 here. Uh, we'll have some Jack 8 is going to be our bluff there when 7 8 gets there. That was so dumb with Ace King. That was like so fucking dumb. Uh, on a high roll here, we're going to go for the 4 bet. 22 and a half seems pretty reasonable. Um, we're going to start betting. Mm, the problem with this, you can just have some check shoves with diamonds, um, which is a shame. Blocking Queens is real nice. Blocking aces and unblocking aces isn't. Uh, you can have some just check shoves with jacks and stuff here anyway. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to just absolutely blast this off, but we may well. I mean, <laughs> going to check turn and then shove river. If it breaks, if he checks, and then if it does break and he checks, we shove and I might not get caught by worse hands. But also about the turn as well. But I tend to have checks a lot when it's an SPR of one. Uh, and on a fire roll, definitely going to check. How about the queen of spades? Ace five suited, it'd suck, wouldn't it? Am I calling River if he shoves? Uh, yeah, we're just all in and hope he heroes. 
Guess you've got to have ace, queen of diamonds. Can't have ace, queen of clubs. So one combo of queen axe is better. Two if you include queens. And then, yeah, let's shove in OP heroes, jacks, or tans. I, I, I should have bet the turn. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, my God. Ace eight. You sure it was 12 years old? Surely that doesn't really even count, then, because, like, you don't really... You probably not develop, like, a fucking you know, moral code when you're 12 years old. I'm going to check this bat like a fucking stain on this board and see a really shit turn against this guy. Wait, was it this guy? Did, did I tag somebody else as a fish by mistake? I don't really know what to, t like, what to fucking tag him as. Uh, okay. He really doesn't have a lot for value now. 7-8. Last combo is a king tan. A 9 generally is going to lead. I don't think I can value that, but I should win. 7 4, and then bottles that on the river. <laughs> yeah, I was calling, buddy. <laughs> I was calling on that river, son. <laughs> We're gonna go all in. Please don't have aces, son. Please don't have aces. Way back, would you look? Oh, you love to see it. Hold. Old baby. Nine of clubs. Ah, uh, even better, son. Even better. Queen. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. You love to say it. You love to say it? I read your... Did he say he was black? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? That seems super active. For what it's worth. Only in 30 hands, though. 10-9 uh, suit, we're going to call. Against a um, pretty active guy. Bad looks of things. Pretty active fun player. Goes for the quarter pot bat. I'm absolutely okay with this. How about the nine of diamonds, dealer? Oh, the upside down nine of diamonds. Call in turn, and honestly, I might even call river. We're going to call four back King Jack suited here. How about the nine of diamonds, dealer? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call here. As far as see when he jams so quick, so I don't think he's going to shove any jack axe. So we're looking at just aces, kings, and queens, I think. And then maybe jacks as well. Maybe some random six acts, but against a. Um, do I even want to do this? Yeah, I think I'm going to call. He seems pretty active. Um, the snap jam on the river. I feel as though he might just jam flush draws and stuff. And I guess I call here. Is he really? Is... Okay. Love to see it. Um, here, what can he even have? Like ace jack of thingies? Like, Jolly doesn't jam king, queen. I guess we lose to aces. With no spade. And we still have equity against that. So I need him to have like king 10 of fucking spades or something. Yeah, aces. He's such a fucking stay. Maybe I should just fold. Jack, do it. Do it. All right, win a buy and lose a buy-in. I actually like his shove on the river. If he didn't shove so quick, it wouldn't have been a bad play. I'm going to lower all. I'm going to flat. They always have it in these spots, you know. It's pretty wild. Uh, 23 bigs in the middle. We've got a pair of tens. We're all in here, I guess. Uh, I don't want to call with someone left to act. They always tend to have it, though. So this guy, I've not seen. Uh, he's pretty new, so. But 23 in the middle. We've got a pair of tens. They always have it, bro. How do you have that? How do you have aces there? Raise, call, call. Oh, my God. Drill it. No ace or six. Get in the fucking bin, son. That's a two-outer right there. <laughs> if we do flat, it goes in the same because he bats flop and then we thingy the turn. But how do they always have that? Raise, call, call. Like, it's just aces, bro. I'm on 100 rolls, so I'm actually going to bat here. I think uh, Solver might have overbats when we do bat, but I think just big bats is fine. Um, and then I'm just going to triple this, to be honest. Fucking Queen Jack's pretty fun. Uh, the problem with this river, I mean, we still have to bat. Uh, the problem with this river, I think people will, like, um, overcall on it. I guess he has some ace nines, some ace x of... I mean, I'm, I have to bluff this hand, right? Oh, yeah, this takes out a load of his value, but now we're just dead to some of his value. Weird size on the turn. 
So it wouldn't surprise me if he calls like 10 jack, even though like it's it's hard for me to have triple barrel bluffs on this board. Um, do we go small here? Do we do this? Nice, we get it through. Can he have ace queen is the question? And does he ever raise worse queen axe on the flop? Like it's, it feels so nitty to check this. If he shows up a queen jack, I'll be well upset. But like I really want to see what he's got for this as well. It's another reason why I want to check. I want to see what he check raises flop with. Garbage. Where was the spade on the river, bro? So we open UTG and the cut off three bets and we roll high and flat the 7-8 suited. In fact, we just went because we're not pure opening it. We're always pure calling it. Might actually have raises on this flop. Um, villain bet like something. Yeah, let's say a third with quite a lot of their range. Um, seven, eight suited. Yeah, it starts to raise at a frequency with seven, eight hearts. Value and protection. Call. Turn comes a ten. It goes check, check. Are they checking back their aces and stuff though? They're checking back kings and some jacks and stuff like that. Goes check, check. River comes the four of clubs. Uh, and I check shove. I already knew I was going to check shove. Villain actually bet quite small in this hand. Well, they bet just under 50%. They're mainly having 60% here. When they do bet. And 7-8 suited is starting to shove. Absolute mix of call, fold, or shove. I think. Because people under bluff, falling might be worse. But because they overfold, I think shoving's best. I think the EV becomes slightly higher. But I'm really glad to see that in our all-in range as bluffs, um, if we look at like the filters and look at the hands, then best hands are obviously value, which is just what we're shoving. Good hands. Um, we're shoving some ace queen uh, for value. And then the weak hands are actually shoving queen jack, I assume, uh, and king queen, I assume, is a merge. And then, yeah, so this is the kind of range that we're shoving. Um, and if you look at it, like, the, the, the most likely hand is is this. But because we have kind of, like, jacks, like, a tiny bit, but I don't really like it, jacks. But I'm, I'm glad to see that this is one of the hands that we're shoving with. Uh, kings, I, I regret this fucking check back on the flop. I, 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 was, I, was, I was in the middle of the hand with ace, three suited. So hijack opens with three bet bottom of kings, villain calls. Can't imagine we check this combo because of how much value and protection we want to get here. And he has so few hands that are better. I bet he'll pure bet this combo. Yeah, there is a bit of check, but we're checking 45% of range. We had king of... I actually prefers betting with the club, I guess, because boards can get um, weird. So we do check back. Then comes the three of hearts. Villain checks ace five suited, which they have some small bets or checks. I decide to pot the turn. It's mainly got small bets here. Kings is mixing between half pot and, and three quarters. Let's say we go three quarters. Villain calls, and the river comes the ten of clubs. He'll have some leads. No, he doesn't check. And he might actually just bet this for small. It's mixing. Um, yeah, I'm fine with this. It actually doesn't want to bet with the king of hearts for whatever reason. And I wonder if his hand would want to check shove here. So what sizes are we betting? Like 61%? Does ace-5 ever shove? Wow, ace-5 calls at a frequency. This pocket tens hands. So we open, cut off, button three bets, and we flat tens, which I know it's going to be uh, like 50-50. So I check call here, and my guess is we're supposed to check fold, but he's just going to bet range. Okay, so he does bet range. Anyway, do we do we continue tens mixes? This is twenty percent. We'll call right. Yeah, this is twenty percent. So he goes a third, which I think he's going to do with range. Um, we call. Sorry. Then comes a king of hearts, and it goes check check. Even yeah, they're checking fifty one percent, and the river comes a four of hearts, and I decide to check shove. Uh, tens is having some like 10% bets, um, but we're checking 42%. Villain goes for a big ish size, like around 60%. And pocket tens with the 10 of hearts is. So tens with the 10 of spades and 10 of hearts is shoving. Tens with the 10 of hearts and the 10 of clubs is, is starting to shove, but not like pure. But we shoved, and that's fine. It's similar EV of folding, slightly negative EV. What does it want to go all in with as a bluff? We can check here for trash hands. So it prefers jack 10, no heart. Jack 9, pocket 8s with a heart, which makes sense. 7s and 6s if we have those. Um, but I think 10s is slightly better. Uh, this 4-bet one where we blasted off with ace 5 suited... So we open UTG, the cut off three bets, we four bet ace five of hearts on a high roll, um, which we're doing quite often. We're probably just batting turn, to be honest, but I like to check turn quite often when the SPR's won. Uh, sorry, no, we, we four bet and villain calls, that's what happens. Uh, really nice flop for range and our hand, to be honest. So we're going for like 25% bets, which we did. Ace five suited, pure betting. We're actually just betting range. 
Villain calls, turn comes to Jack of Diamonds. So we'll have like 10% bets and shit here, or even like, yeah, like 25% bets. Wow, or 50% bets. I like to check though here with like a lot of my range because I just do. And Villain checks back. And then the river comes to Jack of Spades. And I'm all in. And it's showing negative EV to go all in with. Uh, King 10 suited. So, so because of what I actually 4-bet pre with here, in terms of bluffs, my worst hands that I'm going to have. So I, I kind of just construct like, you know, I'm just low down in my range. So a King 10 suited and Ace 5 suited. Ace 5 of hearts blocks Ace Jack suited, the one combo, and it blocks Aces. So I think that's one of the better hands to do it with. I think it's better than King 10. King 10 blocks 10s, which might fold. Now the thing is, if I shove here, which I did for just over pot, 10 is supposed to basically pure call. 9 is supposed to basically pure call. So he doesn't have ace jack suit, which is good. He doesn't have aces, which is good. Ace king is supposed to call a small frequency combo dependent. Ace queen is supposed to call a, a frequency. Now, if we're folding out these 9s, 10s, ace queen, and ace king, then obviously we're just going to shove more. And I think the ace has better... I think the ace has better blocker potential than the king 10 suit it does. Because we want... I, like, I want him to have 10s here, in a way. I actually want him to have 10s. This queen's one where, honestly, maybe I should have just folded. It's so sick as well that this fucking... Yeah, I knew queens would be a mix, but the, the big blind was all in for 30 big blinds. Now, obviously, if that happened, we all in only with aces, but, like... So the big blind was just all in, so there's just 30 big blinds of dead money, which means that if this queens is zero EV of going all in, or uh, actually wants to click here for whatever reason, but... I'm not having clicks, so let's say that's all in. When there's 30 big blinds extra in the middle, yeah, he's going to have some EV with that 30 big blinds, but it's going to make the EV of it a lot higher than minus one when there's just fucking dead money in there. Especially when hijack's gone seven and small blinds gone 21 as well. There's so much more in the middle. This was one when the guy fucking... We three bet ace five suited from the small, and he calls fours. Want us to see what kind of bet sizing we have on this, um, this flop texture? Uh, I'm glad that Ace Five suited is probably one of the biggest like equity bats there, or biggest um, frequency bats. Um, and I went for half pot, which is yeah, it's better. And I figured it was going for the bigger sizes, so we bet half pot. Villain calls fours with a four of hearts, which they're doing pure. Then comes a seven of hearts. We're gonna do fuck loads of checking. Wow, only forty percent. And Ace Five of diamonds, pure bats here. Wow. I guess we have just a load of flush draws, so this isn't gonna be able to. Do it really. I mean, fours well, without a heart is better, and with a heart is primarily checking. Um, River comes the queen of clubs, and I go for yeah, about sixty percent. We never have ace five of um, diamonds though here. Fours calls at a frequency. Um, the thing is here that like all these hands are basically zero EV, and my guess is that they're not really thinking that they're calling at a certain frequency with each hand. So he's probably just calling fours, calling fives, calling eights. Falling, I mean, nines and tens are never going to fold. Tens is actually a pure fold, no heart. Um, whereas fours, we don't have without a heart here. So, And tens with a heart is actually shoving sometimes. Yeah, that, this was a super interesting hand. Cut off opens, we three bet ace queen suited, which is pure. And our friend Bobby calls fives. And I wanted to see both of our players here. So, villain gets to lead sometimes. Villain does lead, 33%. We call ace queen of diamonds, which is only just starting to raise. So we're not actually raising with it all that much. So we call. The turn was something that I didn't fucking think about. It was something like an eight. No, it, it would have been a nine. Yeah, so it must have been nine ten because the, the five wasn't there. Let's just say it was a nine of clubs. Villain checks with fives, even though, wow, they're, they're leading quite often. They check and then we check back. Ace queen suited. We're doing pure. And then the river comes, must have been the 10 of, of diamonds, something along these lines. And villain checks with pocket fives. And I bet small here. Yeah, I figured we're not really having the small, but okay, it's got a tiny bit of it, but not with our hand. Oh no, it's got the tiniest, tiniest bit. It does with ace king more often. Um, but we're actually just shoving fucking 3x pot sometimes. Obviously when we have the ace of diamonds as a bluff, um, or the jack of diamonds apparently as a bluff here. Let's see how he's supposed to react if he 3x part shove. Goes 14% of the time. Wow, mainly with his nut flushes. That's why it's so fucking good. And then obviously, like, pocket eights. Because when we have the ace of diamonds, it's like, hey, fuck you. We block all of your shit. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, we decide to go for the very small bet. He checks. And then I bet super small. 
And fives with a diamond is shoving at some frequency. Fives without a diamond isn't. Let's see what he's supposed to shove for trash hands. Yeah, again, it's this kind of like fucking the solvers. Like, yeah, I'm not really bluffing. What weak hands is it shoving? Yeah, ace queen with the ace of diamonds. That's it. So again, like it gets to this where like, so he's sh he's only shoving 6%, right? But people will only shove their strong hands. And then their trash hands is supposed to be made up of all of these hands that are supposed to shove at a frequency. The tiniest frequency. But this is why nobody bluffs in spots like this on River. Because even if they're fucking searching what to do, like... Yeah. Anyway, we found somebody that bluffed fives. Uh, King, queen in the four bet pot. Let's have a look at this. So, we open the button with king, queen offsuit. Small blind three bets and we four bet. Size is a lot different because it was all smaller sizes. But king, queen makes it in as a four bet. And villain calls ace eight suited, which is kind of calling. Uh, this guy was the first one. Eight three deuce. Villain checks. We bet quarter pot. And King Queen is betting between 10% or quarter part. I just prefer quarter part bets, to be honest. Villain calls with Ace-8 suited. Which I was going to say, I bet it just shoves because it needs protection. It needs fucking, like, the board can run out in horrible ways. I was just going to say, I bet it shoves, and it pure shoves. The EV is way higher of shoving. So, again, we can't really get to this point. Um, we're going to have a shit look. Wow, the small blind leads fucking range on this turn. What are you talking about? Is that right? How could that be? How could that ever be right? I mean, this is this is a whole messed up fucking thing. King Queen doing a lot of small betting, but it goes chat check, and then the river was uh, a four because I remember Ace Four would have got the uh, villain checks. They don't have Ace Eight suited in this, and then we shove King Queen, which if we've checked back, that's what we do. We have shove or fold, and we shove, and obviously Ace Eight isn't in there. Seven Eight is calling there. Seven Eight of clubs is the only combo it has. It's calling. Uh, so yeah, graphs looking pretty good. Nice little um, reducer here. And um, we're actually peaking, I think.